Hey everybody. Well, this is special time because normally uh, I grab a guitar and I sing and I play for y'all, but today's different because a couple things. Well, three things. My son's not feeling well, so we're taken a little bit of time to, to make sure he's okay um, he's just he's got a little bit of a cold and a, a, a few things um, I also I don't know if it's from the air conditioning that we had it was so hot in Mexico hi Charlene hello tranquility how are you now so I'm doing a very short q and uh, I'm and I'm gonna share a story a story a story, a story, um, but my story is going to come from a question. So someone's going to ask a question and that's going to spark my story. I was going to sing, I even warmed up, but as I was warming up, I'm like, my voice, it was sort of like tickling a bit and I'm like, I don't want to cough in the middle of my stuff. So plus our good friends from France, while well, Germany and New Zealand, but live in, have a restaurant in France, they're visiting and hi, Tracy. Hi, Kelly Belly. Uh, Deanna, how are you? Mary Lou. Hi. Um, Barbara, uh, Olivia, they're on YouTube. C Carrie's here. Timmy. Hi, every tie, Timmy. <laughs> Um, and to my Europeans, this is going to be very short, like 20 minutes, so you'll get a good sleep tonight. To everybody else, I'm Paul Green. Uh, I have a website, paulgreen.com. I make movies and I make music. Uh, normally, I'd be performing right now, but if you're just joining, my son Austin has a cold. He's 11 months and he's really having a rough day. So uh, I made dinner and our friends are visiting and tonight is the night that uh, um, plus my throat's tickly. So there's three reasons I'm not performing tonight. Mexico is great. Uh, hi, Judy. Hi, Linda. KK, Larry, Larry and DD Gators here. Um, yeah. So normally I'd be playing some music for y'all, but tonight's a different night. I'm just going to do a quick little Q and a, um, which for those of you who are wondering, that's question and answer. Um, I think my mom probably wanted some music too, but I'm doing a, uh, I'm going to tell a story based on a question. Uh, in Canada, it's hard to get children's medicine right now. Well, that's interesting. How come? Uh, thanks, Timmy. Laura, just love you in Hallmark movies and my music. Thank you, Laura. What's your favorite movie? Jennifer, Susan, Marilyn, hi. Mandy, hi. Carrie, hi. Um, so, listen. Yes, I have a little tickle. So I'm doing a quick, short Q&A because my friends are putting their two kids to sleep. And I'm on dinner duty. I'm making chicken, peas, and an arugula, arugula salad that's very special. So I take baby wild arugula. Okay. Hi, Betty Sue. Hi, Olivia. Hello, Mary. I take baby arugula and shaved thin Parmesan pine nuts and roast the pine nuts just in my in my cast iron until they turn brown then i take tonight i took a little bit of this really thick cut bacon and just did a it's jalapeno bacon and just cut it up and then the dress then a special olive oil like a really high quality olive oil but i, I take four vinegars and when i was in italy at a wedding somebody said to me uh, the person sitting next to me was a very famous chef in Australia and she said if you're gonna spend money hey crazy Daisy if you're gonna send spend money spend money on vinegar and I was like I didn't expect that so she's like a $50 bottle of vinegar some of you are thinking well, that's a big waste of money but hear me out you just need a little bit and and so I have four different kinds of vinegar some are not that expensive and other ones are a bit more pricey but I mix them all with the olive oil and then I have this other oil that has cr crunchy roasted garlic in the oil with red chili flakes and I put a drizzle of that all over um, 
and then mix that together and that's a real it's a really special arugula salad and then I, I'm actually tonight doing the whole chicken in the air fryer uh, there you go so when is your dinner invite yeah <laughs> uh, you're invited anytime you're all invited to my next dinner you are so not cooking what does that mean you're so not cooking uh, Christmas in, with an air fryer or what? Okay, you're coming over. Good, Kristen. Lisa, hi, and Charlotte. Yeah, let me know where you're watching from and let me know if you have a question. I lost my other necklace, my one that I wear to all my lives, and I, and I picked up this other one. Um, they found it and they're shipping it to me and it broke, so I gotta fix it. And my favorite turquoise one. It is yummy, Linda. You're, uh, I'm talking, yes. Pam, I'm talking because my voice is, has a tickle. My son's not feeling well and I'm on dinner duty. And our friends are visiting from Europe and it just, the timing was off. Plus all my gear is still packed up. We got in late last night from Mexico. Um, happy go, go lucky lady. How are you now? It's delicious, Charlene, and it's nutritious. So my t one of my teachers taught me when I'm cooking to use as many colors as I can. I'm also in an in integrative nutrition course to be a functional medical, uh, functional medicine uh, nutrition coach. And one of the things they talk about the most is, yeah, I love arugula, is how much color and variety can you make on your plate? So the more vibrant means mostly the most vitamins and the most minerals. So I love cooking. I'm a big fan of, I spend a lot of time, and I love red wine, especially Italian wine from the north of Italy. Um, when I'm cooking, I love to have a glass while I'm cooking. Um, and one crazy fact, my friend Nick, Honeyman, you can follow his restaurant on Instagram called Paris Butter. It's his restaurant in New Zealand. And I think it has a Michelin star or it has a beard award. Then he has another restaurant in the south of France called Le Petit Lyon. And we went there for their wedding. And Oliver was going to go work there for a summer. And he is here and we're going to be cooking food together. So what I might try to do, if I can set it up, is do a live while he's cooking with me because you guys, it will be one of my favorite lives because he is so rad. So I'm going to try. I like to bring variety. I know a lot of you love my music and like it when I sing, but uh, Paris Butter is the name of his uh, restaurant in New Zealand. And so his wife is one of Kate's good friends and we've become close over the years but we haven't seen them in a really long time and they're here tonight putting their kids to bed Tracy Spaulding I have dark purple potatoes here tonight the Japanese ones the organic ones they're my favorite and I can uh, shut the noof to pop I do like shut the noof to pop Christina it's not my favorite but I do like it uh, Kristen thanks sweetheart yeah Karen, I'm good. How are you? What's the one thing you've taken away from functional nutrition that totally changed you? Thank you, Paula. That's an awesome question. Okay, so I'm studying at IIN. Um, my partner Kate and I have a program called the Freedom Alchemist, and I wanted to dive deeper into things that really interest me anyway, which is functional medicine, which is the opposite of dysfunctional. Uh, and integrative nutrition so it's understanding the holistic approach and one of the things that I really love is you know one of the things we shared before is you if you have a breakdown you have an opportunity to have a breakthrough right and so often we label certain things as bad like a breakdown is bad but without the breakdown you wouldn't have a breakthrough right and so fear is one of those things that gets really a bad rap and people are like love over fear and they almost and everybody sort of throws fear under the bus in the same way they throw Judas under the bus but without Judas you don't have a resurrection and so 
I integrative and holistic and functional means that you need everything. You even need fear, parts of fear, to keep you alive. Now, if, if it gets out of balance and you kind of have a bit of a squirrely relationship and you're always afraid and you probably don't have much adventure or much fun, so you need a bit of a balance with everything. Just like why I drink red wine with dinner, it's a bit of a balance. I, I like a holistic approach. I'm not a extremist. But so Paula asked, what's my favorite thing I took away from integrative nutrition, which is IIN. Um, it's a functional medicine a coaching program. I'm about halfway through. I think I'm 35% through it. Um, is just how how important it is to understand how necessary challenges are. And the things like Judas, how important things like fear are and people like Judas. And you might have a Judas in your life that betrayed you, but if you're willing to look closely, you may, there may be a, I have a Judas in my life that gave me everything, like gave me truly, truly without this person, there'd be so much. So, so that's, that's, that I love and appreciate not in my life. So... The integrative part, the holistic part, um, the functional part of nutrition coaching that I do and that I love. Uh, Kirsten, I am a coach, sweetheart. We have um, over a thousand people that have done a program that my partner Kate and I do, have done called Freedom Alchemist. And I, I've done mostly nutrition and fitness coaching. Uh, but now I'm just getting my degree and a certificate in it. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, integrative nutrition code. That's my favorite thing so far. So far is whatever quote bad thing that happens to you in life. If you're willing, like to look at it and slow down and be grateful for it, it could be. It is the breakthrough that gets you all the good stuff. And often when we look back on our lives, we see some of the biggest challenges we had are the big, are the catalyst in the doorway for the biggest miracles. And that's the the holistic and integrative approach is understanding you know do i miss acting i act i'm in four movies right now uh virginia so i don't i don't miss it no i'm in it i have two christmas movies and a and a feature film plus a pilot that i produced that's coming out so right now is probably the busiest acting i've ever had in my life i don't think i've ever had four projects going at once um if you go to paulgreen.com you can see my all the projects coming out and um yeah, I'm so excited. The CBS trailer came out t today. Uh, K KN, I just came on at 6, 6.40, so 50, 10 minutes ago. Kirsten, you can go to freedom-alchemist.com and just look at the that, look at our, our programs. I'm so proud of them. Um, we have the most uh, incredible testimonials. Just read some of those. You'll, you'll dig it. Um, yeah, Virginia. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I don't miss, I wouldn't, acting's my, I don't know if it's my first love. Music's probably my first love, but acting uh, pays the bills. Music, I'm looking for new ways to have it kind of uh, actually create an income, but it's a little more challenging. Oh, my little baby's not feeling well. Mm. It's the first time Austin's been sick. Um, favorite books I've read? The first thing that comes to mind is a prophet because there's a chapter in there on parenting and on marriage that really blows my mind. There's, there's, I'm trying to think, there's a couple books of the Bible that I really enjoy. Uh, Song of Solomon I really like. Um, I find Revelation to be just absolutely trippy. Um, it's like pl plant medicine reading that. Uh, you miss seeing your movies. Uh, they're everywhere. Uh, Odin, Melina, my movies, I've never, I haven't slowed down. You must just not be seeing them. Um, but I love that. Thank you. That's such a sweet compliment. Yes. Uh, my last Christmas movie was last Christmas, but since then, um, I guess it's been a year, yeah, since October or November, since Christmas CEO. So it's been a bit. Do I think Austin has COVID? Has not crossed my mind, but wouldn't wouldn't think so. No, he's got a fever, and it's, and he's and he's hot. 
Uh, why not in Tennessee? How are you now? Would I come back to... Christina asked, would I ever come back to When Calls a Heart? Katie, do you need help? I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Terry said, so... Thanks for answering your question. You're welcome. Cynthia, thank you for all the taps and all the likes. Uh, so my name is Paul Green. I make movies. I make music, and I'm a and I'm a functional nutrition coach, uh, which I'm very passionate about helping people live a life that they truly love. And I had some really good teachers in my life. One of my teachers, Kathy. I just I can't even begin to describe the things that she taught me. The pillars. Oh. Baby, can I help you? Hold on a second. This ball. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say a quick little hello? This is Mr. G Mr. Green is feeling really rough. He's got a runny nose. He's got he's got he's got really Nick Nolte design. Nick Nolte did his hair. We got a, oh he has so much. Your nose is so runny. Is there anything I can do to make this better? Does it feel? These are my friends. Say hi. He's having a rough, 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 rough time. This is, is this your ball? Can I have it? Do I share it? Hmm? Would you like to have it? Yeah. My dad would say it's going to feel better when it quits hurting. So it's going to feel a little bit better when it quits, quits hurting. Okay? Dude, what if this guy grows up your arm and he goes around and tickles you? What if he goes over here? And he goes around the corner and he tickles with this guy. Oh my, you're so snotty today. Uh, my wife's with him. She just needs a little help while she's getting some other stuff ready for him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say goodnight to you guys. I just wanted to check in and give you... Just let's apologize. I couldn't play music tonight. Um, please check out uh, paulgreen.com for a lot of info and all that stuff. I'm going to go be with him and his mama and make some dinner for our friends. And, and Austin's just, he's just had it. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please say, say hi, and I look forward to playing some music maybe Thursday, maybe for sure Friday. Maybe we'll do a green day. Okay, I'm going to go. Bye, everybody. See you later. Love you. Thanks for stopping by. Say bye, Austin.